And when they, uh, they build another one, we'll just start shooting it all over again. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, you stole someone else's artillery. And you fired it into a wall. Well, sir, do we have an emote for you? We do. You stole someone's artillery and fired it into a wall. Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Ellenburg Siege. Check it to check it out. I'm doing some heavy infantry at the moment and I'm really enjoying it. So again, we're going to go with the Iron Reapers today, the chonkiest of boys. We're going to take this Palace Garden again, um, see how they do. And uh, on top of that, uh, I, I hear a lot of you like Paladins despite their shortcomings. So we'll see how we do with those as well. Maybe we can uh, use them as a mini shield wall that actually fights, but... Really, why didn't we take the old grandpa garrison? I don't know. Let's start the game. We have a beautiful loading and animation here. Uh, we've got the Martellalori first so that uh, we may push in some siege engines. As soon as this starts zooming out, I'm going to hit the control key and take control of the unit straight away without having to wait. Um, I guess now we'll just zoom under here and grab a cannon, see how we do. Ooh, this is still alive. Let's have a go. Right about... That's no, too far left. Way too far left. Dolt. I can't exit. Hello? Exiting? Exit? Exit this... What? Oh. Ugh. Okay. Well, I guess that's what happens. <laughs> so, um... I guess we'll... Just wait. We don't need this pushed in if somebody's got a spear uh, trash unit. That would be lovely. Somebody, anybody? So what's the plan here? Um, I think we'll take probably the paladins up the wall. See if we can't make a push through to B from this side, the centre tower. After that, we'll probably use the palace guard to clear up any resistance inside and the reapers to push the home point. So we've got a plan. We've got a plan here. Let's see if it works. All right, good. We've got the ram coming in. Thank you very much. And now we're just going to chill here with Mr. Horse. I can't decide which of the attires I like better, whether I like my old school one here or whether I like the new uh, Dusk Baron armor. <laughs> this will do for now. One of the uh, side uh, notes about this one is I don't know what it says on my shoulder. For all I know, it could say loser, <laughs> the, the Chinese characters on my shoulder. Um, also, when I mount my horse, my cape gets caught around my neck. It's a really weird graphic bug, which I don't get on the Dusk Baron armor. But that's life. I'm talking about the, uh, the main armor attire. So, um, definitely the Paladins. That's what the decision was, wasn't it? So let's go. So Paladins. What's good about Paladins? Paladins have a heal. That's nice. They have a really cool little shield wall. Although it's not nearly as powerful as, say, like these grandpas here. Uh, the number three ability I've got on this unit is, uh, what do you call it, Iron Sides. It's a Doctrine, and it gives them plus 150 to all of their armors for about eight seconds, I think it is. These are very brave muskets. Let's see if we can just back them up. Really be nice to get that left tower in so that we've got something to support. But for now, we're just kind of chilling here. That's bad, it's going to hit the tower. you got to be really careful when you drop trebs onto walls like that. If it's going to hit the tower in any way, you're probably going to kill your, your own units. Whoops, I should have been more onto it. I could have killed more of these. As you can see, anything that's not a dedicated melee unit, these guys will chop up pretty well. But Iron Reapers, no. I'm going to charge them with my heroes just so I can make the swing, initial swing bad. Where are the grandpas? Help me, grandpas. Even microing these guys, they're not going to beat Tiger Step Iron Reapers. And unfortunately, I've also forgot to turn on my iron sides. So for my sins, for my error in moving here in the first place and forgetting about my ability, I am going to lose my paladins. 
that is a shame. But it's also what happens to Paladins. Uh, they've just completely fallen beside the wayside. Unfortunately, there's not much that we can do. But the end result is, is that there are a dead unit of Iron Reapers and a dead unit of Paladins, so at least our team came off best. Anyway, the plan was to push through to B, so we'll do that. What are we going to do with five Paladins? <laughs> Make a wall at the front here. That was a weird charge. Maybe we can do the same. See if we can kill any of the squishies down the back there. Doing a bit of damage, got a kill. Well, that's all we're getting. Still, seven's better than none. Slightly. We'll just see if we can hold them back for a second, cause a bit of damage. But I don't want to get charged by them. That's not a good thing to have happen. So I think uh, we'll just exit stage right. This is not going to plan so far. Hello, sir. We chase you down? Probably not. We'll leave that to someone more DPS orientated. Anyway, we're going to go back now and we're going to get probably the Palace Guard. The Reapers... Reapers are great, but they don't have a shield, which is kind of what we need right now. So let's go. In my last video, I put up the uh, the wrong screen for these guys. I don't know if anybody noticed. I put up the uh, the screen for the uh, top line, when in fact these are the ones with the shield wall, which I'm pretty sure is bottom line, and I hope I'm not talking out my backside. But I think I made that error. I will double check when I uh, upload this game, if it's any good see how we do. So this is really good, we've got ourselves a nice tight shield wall with heavy infantry, we've got um, extremely powerful ranged unit behind us, we're supported by many heroes and units. So I feel confident pushing in a little bit, and we can see we've got four Debrachio pikes here. Um, not something you want to be pushing into with well, pretty much anything. I can do it with my hero and drag the unit in but <laughs> Look at this, like, pikes. Ow! What? Oh. <laughs> I thought the pike stabbed me through the wall. <laughs> Turns out it was just a lame musket. So, we're going to show some patience. Patience, patience, patience. If we go in there now, we are dead, dead, dead. That musket can keep pounding us all he likes. Uh, we can heal faster than he can do damage to a unit like this, so it's not a problem. Yeah, there's a lot of heroes though. But we'll take the bullets on our shields. That's always a good thing to do. And hopefully our ranged unit can take out some of the ranged unit. As you can see, a little health bar's bottom left there. We're not really suffering at all. One of the best things about Longsword is that you can do things like this without any sort of consequence. The Fortabrachios are leaving, that's what we need. Don't go in there, you nut jobs. Yes, half your unit got stuck. <laughs> half the unit got stuck on the um, the musket uh, caltrops, and that was never going to work well. It was a bit of a waste of a charge, but we're in anyway. And uh, we're, oh, 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 I was too slow on the press and lost a couple of my guys. It's all right, we're still CC immune, so we won't lose many to the cavalry. And I'd say we're going to be okay versus these grandpas, especially if these guys will help us, the, uh, the El Palpadeers, the slash the land sharks. So with these guys, the general idea, the loose idea, the main way, not the only way of playing them, is to basically walk them into the enemy and crouch, and they become CC immune for about 5 seconds. After that you can press the 2 key and they'll jump up and start shield bashing people, which uh, is devastating to block and does a reasonable amount of damage, but they're no longer CC immune. Um, they do have a charge, the charge is okay, it's a pretty standard sword and shield charge. But they really work best when they're supporting another unit like this. Peasants, they'll destroy peasants, no stress. Walk in, do the brace, murder everything in front of us, and when we're ready, we'll shield bash. Alright, we've got ourselves a nice free supply point. Right. Armour Gelasses. Very, very powerful cavalry unit, T4. 
far too powerful and far too under-costed, if you ask me, for the Armour Gel Answers for a T4 unit. But very, very good unit nonetheless. Anyway. Let's follow the plan. The plan was to bring the Iron Reapers all the way to the home point. Let's go see. Chonky boys are very slow, to be expected. And I can see our team are pouring up to the front gate, which should attract more of the, the enemy. See on the mini-map? You're a good players, aren't you? You all watch the mini-map constantly. You can see most of our players have gone up to uh, the front gate there, which will draw attention. <laughs> okay, this will take us about five seconds to get through. Generally, you wouldn't want to close the gate like this. You'd only want to gain it, close it if there's something to gain, tactically. Because it's just so quick to get through and has no real benefit to your team, right? However, if one unit moved in, you could close the gate and then all jump on that one unit, for example. So it's much better not to close it for no good reason. Oh, there's some more paladins here. I feel sorry for you, sir. I feel sorry for myself as well. Okay, so we've got the double spike trap here. Look at this, we can sort of push in. This guy's got his unit a bit close, see? But I can't stay in here forever because there are people shooting me. What do we want to do? So Iron Reaper's a pretty common unit, well known. Got a charge, number one. I don't typically use the charge, it's too easy to charge into something that would do brace damage to them. Especially with the proliferation of Modows and 40s. Uh, and number two is Tiger Step. So my preferred way of using the Reapers is to walk them in. Um, anything they can overwhelm, I won't use the Tiger Step on just for the sake of it. I will generally save it because it makes you CC immune and of course does a massive, massive amount of damage. So what we really want to do here is we want those probably those Paladins to go in first. Actually we'll go in. Look, see the Nodachi here? He's made a gap for us. And we don't, we can overwhelm these 40s out of, out of position without using Tiger Step. And that means we've still got it when we come back and we can slaughter the Armored Gelances as well. These are not Armored Gelances, these are Cataphract Lances. These are a T5. Really inexpensive T5, the Cataphract Lances. They need a very long charge to be able to get the most out of them. Let's ask our team to support onto the point here. We'll just sort of sit back a little. Use our attrition uh, to, you know, we've got a lot of hit points here, we've got a lot of damage uh, potential here. The enemy will just grind them out before we make any silly moves. Now, um, I can see that Glaive is doing a very good job killing those muskets. We've got nothing on the left, we've got nothing on the right, so it's time to push on. And we don't have any shield units, and we've got only got a part of a brace unit here, so... What are those Reapers doing? If they're going to go that way to hold off the enemy, I guess it only makes sense that I should go this way. We're going to use a charge. Flail charge. Now the thing about the flail charge is it does a nice big whack of damage there. Then if, when you press 5 to switch weapons, anyone that's been knocked down will immediately get up. And then you can go into your tiger step with your swords. So they're doing some absolute massacre stuff there. See those Fortabracchio pikemen back there? Oh no, they're Prefecture pikemen. They were expecting me to, um, hang on a second. They are expecting me to be knocked over by their advance. Unfortunately for them we were in Tiger Step and it just ended up costing them. Uh, this is touch and go. I don't think we've won this push. There's some Modau coming in from the side there. Try and break this guy's block. But they've got Iron Reapers, and they've got these Modau, I think it's time to leave. I think, unfortunately, with 5% of the capture point left, we're going to run. We're going to get behind this wall so our horse doesn't get shot out from under us, and then we're all the way back to the supply point. Um, things are not brilliant. They're not bad. We've got 7 minutes. Just Well, we've got a whole bunch of cav here. I think we might be okay. Depends how we do here. The cav are great. But they don't really hold the ground like infantry do. So we're going to work with these Modows and these 40s. And we're going to be like their little mini shield wall, if you will. Not enough of this unit left to, to truly be amazing. Got there. But this is a heavy, a good infantry push, this, actually. It's a good death ball. As long as we don't get charged in the back, but it looks like the 40s have got that covered. We'll just back up the grandpas for now. 
Allow our muskets to do a bit of damage. There's no point, no need to advance too quickly. We're just watching our map for people charging in behind. But if we go in here, we'll cover the flank. That'll allow the Grand Pass to move out further, and it will allow our rest of our team to move out further. I'd like the Grand Pass to sort of come out and... <laughs> that dual blades was doing something cunning, wasn't he? Oh! Get out. Get out. Now, peasants. We've got these mowed out here. We've got some stuff going on to the side. Uh, enemy mowed out. The 40s will kill them, so we'll cover the left flank for these Grandpas, and hopefully the Grandpas will move in and help us. They have. So now we've got like a little wedge formation covering their entire flank and the mode out in the front with the paladins. So that's going well. I don't know quite what these javelins are hoping to do. If you're going to use the javelins in combat, you've got to XV them. Ooh, that's going to be a hearty trip. Now look, we're in just the right place now for the 40s to join us after they finish the mode down. Once these trebs finish, we're going to go in. And that should be enough to win us the game. GG! Hey, look at that. That, la that death ball. Like, our team. There was a good core, like six heroes on that flank that we worked really, really well together. Um, 19 of those 40s. That's pretty good. But we did, um, we did 1 million damage. We took 2 million damage. So that's really good. Although our kill score is not great. Things all round. Pretty darn good. Hard to go amiss when you win the game anyway. Ah, oh, we didn't place as well as I would have thought. We haven't got any hero kills, so I suppose I shouldn't be that surprised. And our unit kills were not particularly great either. Yeah, look at that. He didn't even, he didn't help defend at all, that guy. And neither did that Nadachi. Such is life. It's our benefit. Never mind. Well, boys and girls, I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thank you so much for coming to my channel.